Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. We got an unboxing video today and we got a lot of stuff to get unboxed. Um, one of these things I've had for a while and just never opened. So let's get, let's just hop into it. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have my box cutter anymore. I broke it. Um, I'm just gonna skip this closer. There we go. Okay. I broke my box cutter. I don't know how. It just broke. Um, I got this so now. So, hope I don't get demonetized by YouTube. Uh, YouTube, I'm sorry for showing a knife on camera. This is just my preferred way of opening these now. So, just hand it to them by hand. So, yeah. Got residue on it from the sticker. Anyways, we're gonna start off with the most basic thing from this unboxing. Okay, I am gonna have to cover the top. Um, it is rusty. It's just quite literally a single pack that's super fun to target. Okay. I, I don't know if YouTube's gonna demonetize me for this or not. But I'm still gonna show the knife on camera. Kids, do not open, do not use a knife. Kids who watch me, do not use a knife with a little supervision. You can't seriously cut yourself. Seriously, I already cut myself. I cut myself either yesterday or earlier today. I can't remember. Especially don't buy a knife without parent supervision either if you're a kid. Uh, it'll just be careful with what you do. So this is rusty. Let's just get the controller out of there. I'm gonna have to. Okay, I'm just gonna. Instead of having to rip it, I'm just gonna stab into the plastic and then cut off the plastic. And I'm gonna set that. It's a fall. I won't land on me. Excuse me. Or anything else. Okay. Safety is my number one priority when it comes to this. After all, trying to keep the blade away from my fingers. Okay, do I really have to do that? Get the pain off of this. I really want to keep this intact. I don't think I'll have to. I'm just gotta get it under. I have a little. Gotta get it under him. Is it connected? Uh, it's connected by a tape and twist. Okay, I don't have to tear it apart. I will have to put this on the other side too. Now, I know Monster Jam and Battle Bots have nothing to do 
with anything with each other. But there is something I'm going to do. Um, for a personal project. Y'all will see it on the channel. Uh, I might make a video about it. Not right now since it's, I don't know, 8 or something. I got it summer right now. But still. I'm not going to say it. Uh, actually, I am. Um, I'm going to be making Nitro Neon Roasties. Oh, ripping. Anything. Okay. Sorry, I hit the camera. Open without having to use the knife. I can't really can't seem to do that. I need to go breaking the box. Yeah. Okay, really. am I supposed to twist it? Oh! Can't see that. There we go. So, got this. There's one thing I will do with it, and that is use it as a display piece. The robots. So I'm gonna do with this from now on. I'm gonna cover up my mask again. Set this right down next to me. Okay. With the color of the team they're on. Keep in mind, I don't use the exact purple because I don't have the exact purple. I use more so a lavender. Probably not even gonna look at this, anyways. Actually, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm not gonna mark it. Uh, yeah, Frosty. <laughs> Uh, I really don't know how else to describe this other than it's trust me. God, these are really hard to remember. Give me a minute. I'm gonna have to unscrew it. If I can find a screwdriver, it drops. Earlier, um, I 
It was slowly dripping down. Here we go. Alright. Let me get the whole point of the pull tab so that way you can get the pull. Not have to open it up to get to that, but it is just ridiculously hard to pull out without doing that. This one is not easy at all. Yeah, it feels rusty. I'm gonna have to take these batteries out. Give me a minute, you know. These batteries are already so rusty. I'm not gonna cooperate that piece of the fine. These rusties are probably going to be, yeah, they are going to be a personal project. Uh, I also, um, if when I do get another Hypertrack, I'm going to make a Nitro Neo version of those too, because this, this is one of, um, that I own now. This is my, this is my fifth one. Yeah. And speaking of other Hypershocks, two of them are back here. Skies. And just gonna set these down like, so rusty move. Boom. You can just look right there and right there. Oh, yeah, and in the background at the Monster Jam stunt truck. Right there. That's a nitro variant. Yeah. Which is also battle box the way to this. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay. Oh, I am so sorry, YouTube. So sorry. Just to hold the knife up to my face there by accident. Okay. I guess I'm right time to hit the camera. Yeah, I'm about to start closing that. Okay, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna kind of... You know, film up here very, very clearly. Get back there. Let's see. Did I already hold the traction? No. Very good.
not to take a care less for. And I do not need those instructions. I already know how everything works. And again, I'm not going to open that on camera. The knife is not opening the knife on camera. That's what she wants to say. Come on, open. There we go. Okay, that's one or two down. Struggling here, give me a minute, you know. I'll stop the camera for a little bit. You already see what you're I'm, I'm working on. You probably can already tell. Okay, so we're going to twist. I'm just gonna Rusty's number two off. These are my third and fourth Rusty's. Oh my goodness. Screwdriver again there. Okay, and then hyper shops. They're so much easier to take off. Seriously. I mean, I do not think. Again, like he has more, he has the same amount of rubber bands as him, and they're in like the same orientation. But his are just more difficult to get off than his for some reason. 
I'll see if I can do the pull tab on here. Are you ready? Nope. Okay, I do have to touch around. Again, the controller is so much easier for me. My fingers are sore. Okay, here we're. Rusty? Maybe he's trying to. He does not find another one, though. Okay. Uh, I will color code the remotes too. So. Yeah, why not? Like, if or when I do decide, if I do decide this, uh, when I make not too many on customs of all the other. Battlebots. Um, so that way I got one for Team Nitro and one for Team Neon. Anyway, start getting into the monster truck stuff because that's what this channel is usually about. Here's how I open these now because why not I have two of these. Uh, I won't be open. I, I might just open both of them on camera. I don't know. Um, I have two of these for one reason. Uh, for, for two reasons, actually. One reason was because, well, I mean, they were the last ones in stock. They the last ones in stock. I had at least, since that's where I guess the majority of my stuff. And second, because Axe is, uh, I, 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 am an, I am a huge fan of Axe. You will never be able to change my mind on that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just open the other one. All right, now the, um, really the only difference is Lumberjack. Is really just the chassis, and the roll cage, and the rims. That's, that's about it. Because the chassis and the rims have slipped. Not because, not because the roll cage has taken the rims the original color. The rims has taken the chassis the original color. The chassis has taken the roll cage the original color. Yeah, axe really just it's pretty much the same thing. Except it was just these two switched around the rims on the roll cage. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I feel like my finger is, I feel like my finger is bleeding. But it's not, I'm not cut anywhere. I don't know what's happening. start from this other side this time. Come on. Just bust that. <laughs> so, okay. Let's do recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. Just have to make sure. I took a lot longer than that for absolutely no reason. Because it's the same, same thing. Quite literally. I'm not gonna say anything about these ones because they are the exact same thing as the last one. Uh, these ones I will be making customs out of. I already have an orange. Orange. Uh, I made an orange lumberjack one. Don't know where it went because it fell. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, this, since it's already partially up, I might as well just go ahead and use a knife. Like, like that, just act so I can open it up for Do not cut towards you, people. The only reason I'm doing this is because I am right hand dominant only. I don't do pretty much anything with my left hand. I can't, it's just it feels uncomfortable, you know? Okay. This is my first time owning um trucks like this or this series. Or I was to a double pack, so I'm actually gonna go pretty far in detail. I don't know what has been changed from the original release. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna go over what all I see, what all, what else, what all I find interesting like that. Um, it is kind of like the Gorge Dot series. This, I have a personal custom of that up here. Right here. Uh, with the different rims. So we got, it doesn't have different tires like this one does. But it does have different rims. Um, I quite enjoy that. I'm gonna set this up here. No, okay, um, I'm gonna set that right there. I don't wanna have to stand up again right now. Um, uh, all the body pieces I see are the normal Gravedigger's headlights with the Gravedigger Legend hood. Um, and then you got the red Gravedigger's door right there. Then you got, that is the, oh, um, I want to say OG, but it's not the, it's not the original, like, 100%, uh, the first Monster Truck version of Gravedigger right there. That is a normal part. Um, the top is Green Ghost. That right there is Grave Digger the Legend, I believe. Hang on, give me a minute, I gotta get close. No, that was actually Dennis Anderson's first spot truck. I'm, I'm sorry about that mistake. That 
right there. Is also normal grave digger, and that's also the one that was over here. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for grave digger. That's what we're looking at. I don't know why I keep doing that. Cause I've been doing a lot here recently. Um, orange roll cage. It looks like a good dark orange or red. I don't know. Um, normal turtle look right there, yellow, normal, the black ultra logo, the normal ultra logo, black ultra logo, yellow. I don't know what that one is. Right there. Hang on, let me get that. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, that is also, yeah, that's the orange one. Uh, the top part is orange. The horns, I believe, are the yellow ones. Um, and then it's got the different rims that Ultra Lego has had. And some of them aren't even just rims, they're just beat locks in general, because... Ultra Lego Black, I believe, ran black rims with orange beat locks. Uh, normal ran the gray ones with orange beat locks. Uh, I don't think Ultra Lego ever ran yellow beat locks. Um, and then again, the black ones. Um, did I try to look over and run yellow for B-Logs? I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Um, so anyways, that is going to be all for today's video. Um, thank you guys for watching so much, and uh, bye for now. See you next time. Bye.